Welcome to Contact Monkey Academy. In today's session, I'm going to be talking about formatting your CSV file for a mail merge. So you are going to have to follow a specific guideline um, to send out a CSV as your recipient list. And the first item here is to place your email column in the very first column of your Excel sheet. So within this column, you're going to want to ensure that each email address has a .com or a .org net at the end, otherwise um, it won't be formatted properly. Next, if you have any columns that have multiple words in the column name, you're going to want to remove the space in between them. Uh, if you were to leave first name as two separate words, uh, it just simply won't work. So um, you can place them together like this, or you can put an underscore in between and you'll notice that the same thing applies for last name and company name. Something else to note is that you should remove all spaces either before or after the term. So for example, if I had a space after the word support, um, it would stop the CSV from going out to that person. The next thing to ensure is that you don't have any duplicate email addresses on your list. So right now, obviously we only have a couple, but if you're working with a larger list, you can just run through a quick search in the search bar, type out remove duplicates, and this is going to do just that. It's going to take out any duplicates that you have in your sheet. So I can see here that I don't have any duplicates, but it would let me know if I did. So if I did have a duplicate value, all I would need to do is just click on the corresponding cell um, or grouping of cells and just remove that person from the list because we already have their email address. So I would simply click on the number three. I can see that my whole row is selected and then I can just click delete. The next thing I want to recommend is just to delete any columns that you're not actually going to be using as a merge field. So let's say the only reason that you're um, inserting this CSV is to get access to the email and the first name. You can actually just take the last name and com company name right out of it just to um, prevent that extra data from potentially causing any problems. So I've just selected these two columns and since I don't need them for my own mail merge, I'm just going to delete those as well. The final step here is saving this file as a CSV file type. So if you jump into the file section of Excel, we're going to click into save as, and then we're going to save it as a CSV file type. This might be already selected for you as it was for me, um, or it might be listed as an Excel workbook. So you just want to make sure that you're selecting CSV comma delimited, this option, and then we're going to click save. So because I already had that on my computer, I'm just going to save it over. Um, and we do have this sample file for you if you'd like to take advantage of that. Everything is structured properly, uh, so you can just click the link below in order to save that to your computer. Now, in order to actually send out a communication to your CSV file, we're going to just jump into your internal comms button to pull up a new email message. So you'll notice that there's an option to upload to a CSV file. We're just gonna click into that and then select the CSV file from our list. Now you'll get a little message saying that your CSV file is being uploaded and you will be alerted if there's any issues with the formatting and then you can kind of go back in and change those as needed. We can see that this has uploaded successfully, so now it's just a matter of inputting the subject line and the body of our email or template and then we're good to go. Um, now the last thing I want to show you here is the ability to add in a merge field. So you'll notice that we have this little orange button here and this allows you to personalize your email. So whether you wanted to personalize your subject line or the actual intro to your email, you can select from this list. And if you have a column in your CSV file that includes a first name, for example, let's go ahead and show you how that's done. So now this has been copied to the clipboard and all I need to do is paste it into my subject line and then I can send out a fully personalized email to my recipient list. Uh, so I hope that today's session was helpful. Please let us know if you have any questions at all. Um, we do appreciate you joining Contact Monkey Academy.